J.R.R. Tolkien. Not a lot's known about him except his biography. Not a lot of folks really know the man behind The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. But I think this dramatic biography film did a pretty decent job. Tolkien tells the story of J.R.R. Tolkien as a young man who had to go through some pretty heady stuff, losing his family, well, most of them, uh, going through British boarding school, which I've heard can be an ordeal, and going off to fight in the quote-unquote war to end all wars. And this film does not shy, shy away from stuff. You see the full horror of war and how it may have affected the man in a way that gave us things like the Balrog, dragons, various bad guys, both large and small, but also friendships that spawned the relationships between all the hobbits. <clears throat> and honestly, I think even though a lot of bad stuff happened to Tolkien, it ultimately made him a better person. It certainly made his literature better. Nick Holt plays Tolkien completely straight. He he's very human. As is the main love interest played by Lily Collins. They're very British, but you can see the emotion beneath the Britishness. And Tolkien with his friends. I could literally see them as hobbits. I mean, Tolkien's obviously Frodo. The guy who starts out as a bully ends up as his friend. He is obviously Sam. The other two were clearly Merry and Pippin. And I'm not going to go into too much detail, but there's a Gandalf. And no Strider or... Um, Eowyn, though. And there's even scenes where Sauron and the dragon appear. And it's all backdropped in pre-war and as it's happening, war Britain. And I felt like I was there in both the peaceful areas and the war-torn areas. It definitely accurately portrays uh, what one might have gone through in World War I. And while it, it wasn't a classic uh, fairy tale, it, it definitely felt like it could have inspired one. Overall, this wasn't a bad movie, but it wasn't a kid's movie because it's it's a lot of sitting around talking, but it's good that it's sitting around talking. It's not all action, because it shouldn't be. That's not what Tolkien's life was. Overall, I would say this is a good movie to check out if you're a fan of Tolkien's work and are curious about the man himself. This is Mr. J signing out and reminding you, just because Tolkien borrowed a lot of stuff for his work doesn't mean he didn't add his own personal touch. And that's what made those stories great. That's what makes all stories great.